In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Joe Allen's really neat teleprompter for iOS devices. So you can share your message with confidence, having prepared your thoughts and words ahead of time. This is video number five in my series of videos about teleprompters and the first of three about software teleprompters. Hi, my name is Sue Ferreira, creator of Wisdom to Wealth Mastery, where I show you how to take all the wisdom you have up here in your brain, brain dump it, organize it, and take your wisdom to the world using video. Because we're living at a time where if you have a business, video is your most powerful marketing tool. So let's go over right now and have a look at Joe Allen's teleprompter, which will help you take your message to the world. Here I am on my iPhone and I'm going to go to the Joe Allen teleprompter app and up will come a screen something like this. At the moment, I only have one script on my Joe Allen teleprompter. I deleted all the others before I did this video. And this is the default screen that you will come to, which has a list of all your scripts. And you can either see your scripts as a list, which I have right now, or as icons. And you can sort by newest, oldest, A to Z or Z to A, which is very handy. Before I show you how to import a script and use the teleprompter, there is a very useful help up here, which allows you to browse common questions. And that goes to the website and you can enter a keyword, a topic, a search or whatever. And it's a really a good help or you can email a support question. So access to help for this teleprompter is very simple, but I doubt that you will really need it. If you want to add a new script, come up here to add a new script. And you have several options. You can compose a new script and you can type directly here onto your iPhone. Now, I find it a little bit clumsy to create a script here on the iPhone, but you know, if I was in a situation where I had no other means of creating a text and I wanted to create a text, I would type it in here with all of the usual keys. But I'm not going to do that today. How I usually enter a script is to go to import from Dropbox. You can also import from other apps. I've never done this. I find it's easy to do so from Dropbox, but it's handy to know that you can import as a doc, a docx, a PDF, a text file, RTF, and a PowerPoint. You will find some teleprompters will only allow you to import in a .txt file, in a text file. So coming back to this screen, let us introduce a new script and import from Dropbox. It immediately connects to Dropbox and I have here an old script. It gets the file from Dropbox and there we go. This is a script I made up long ago. So let's go now and see how we use the teleprompter itself. For a start, we can change the direction of the camera. I've now on the backside camera of my iPhone and I'm just looking at another one of my screens or I can bring it back to myself. So you have the ability to have the forward or backward camera on when you are delivering your message. The next thing we can do is come over here to settings and you've got a lot of different settings here. You can change the font size and you can change the size here. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. And with as with all of these teleprompters, there's always a little bit of fiddling going on where you adjust the size of the text that you want with the scroll rate, because obviously the bigger the text you have, the faster it's going to have to scroll. So that is something you work out for yourself. What suits you better? What size text? What scroll rate? And you will find we all of us have a different rate at which we speak and a different rate at which you're going to be scrolling your script. So I'm going to leave the script at 32. I'm going to go back to settings and now I'm going to look at the background. You can do a lot of things with your background. You can make your background opaque and you can use several other backgrounds, but I am just going to leave it transparent as it is right now. If I come here, you can see at the moment, I'm covering maybe almost half of the screen with my text. I'm able also to change that text area size. 
I've now made it much narrower. I've made it much closer to the camera. So if it scrolls now, it's going to have to scroll faster than when it was bigger. But I can also, if I want, bring it right the way across the screen. This again is a personal preference. For me, the closer it is to the camera, the more it looks as though I'm looking at the camera when I'm using this teleprompter. So I'm going to bring it back so that it scrolls pretty close to the camera itself. This indicator here is how fast you want it to scroll. If I start now, you can see it scrolls pretty fast or you can slow it down. So again, this is something you're going to fiddle with so you can work out what size text and what scrolling rate within which area suits you best. On the bottom corner here, you can turn on and off the ability to record with the start button. So as soon as I click start, it starts recording, the script scrolls up and I can start reading my script. It's so simple. Stop and it saves the video to your photos folder on your iPhone. That really is all there is to this app. For me, it is the best app that I have to use as a teleprompter on my iPhone. If you like this video, hit the like button below and leave a comment or a question and share this video with friends. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and download my guide, Five Easy Ways to Share Your Expertise. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.